How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Lieutenant Dan, here from Unintentional Grounding, live from Orlando, Florida, with a Desmond Ritter all throws um, uh, premiere. Uh, this will not be a true traditional Falcons film breakdown. We'll do more actual breakdowns on Desmond Ritter's throws and everything that happened during the Panthers game throughout the rest of the week as I get time to do it. But this will be a compilation of every single throw um, or play that Desmond Ritter was able to accomplish in the game running and or passing the ball and this is not meant to be a breakdown and critique of his play but more or less a narration of what the Atlanta Falcons did right what they did wrong what the Panthers did right what they did wrong who were the determining factors to how the Falcons played against the uh, Carolina Panthers and how they were able to overcome those obstacles um, and more or less uh, just kind of a showcase of everything that the All-22 tape has presented us. Uh, there will be a few plays that I have missed, not because of um, a lack of trying, but for whatever reason, the All-22 tape continues to uh, baffle most content creators, um, and it just doesn't seem to work. Uh, I don't know why. Um, it glitches out on some. So there is actually a few frames that did not get... Uh, their opportunities so stick with us thank you so much like share subscribe comment down below your favorite play desmond ritter and this company and let's get straight into it um the first thing that i noticed the entire game uh kayla mcgarry top of your screen this man was getting punked all game and having to be babysat now i would rather desmond ritter obviously let this ball drop but after looking at this play multiple times um you either have to basketball screen a 300-pound defensive lineman um, or you catch this ball uh, and it just, it, you know, it, it's, not a, it's not a great play, not a great showing at all in that you got to have some a little seasoning to understand that and allow that ball to drop on the ground. Um, again, McGarry, top of the screen. Why is Desmond Ritter getting strip sacked? Uh, because Caleb McGarry is going wide. His stance, look at his feet on the right-hand side of the screen here. Just wide feet. And uh, Chris Lindstrom is having to babysit this man um, to make sure that he doesn't get destroyed. Um, no clean pocket, and we'll break that play down uh, another time, but no clean pocket means that Desmond Ritter is going to get sacked. Jake Matthews had his lunch taken all day. Um, McGarry and Matthews very uncharacteristically getting destroyed. The routes were good. I looked at the routes multiple times, and, and the routes are fantastic. Pitts was wide open a lot of times with Ritter unable to actually hit his keys. This is the one drop by Drake London uh, during the game and uh, just looked him right in the hands. Blap drops that ball. Could have been a five-yard reception. Could have kept the drive going kind of there. And then uh, you do a shovel pass here, and McGarry doesn't even block his guy. Um... And that's where one of our plays that actually doesn't work. Here's the uh, Bijan Robinson touchdown. Um, this, again, a play we had already shown them. Bijan's just a freak athlete. Boom, boom. Two jukes. In fact, actually, the second view of this play, um, you get to see the juke out because of the linebacker or safety corner um, just shooting this angle wrong. And then another juke makes 24 miss his uh, tackle, and Bijan goes in and... Hey man, if you can if you can create 15 yards by throwing one yard, that's one thing. Um, I don't. By the way, I don't foresee Desmond Ritter making a lot of runs, spectacular runs. That's just not his game. This is called back on a uh, a hold in the backfield, and this is improvisation from uh, Desmond Ritter to Kyle Pitts. This would have been fantastic. I mean, you know, Des doesn't see his option open. He scrambles out, makes Burns have to choose um, and gets the pass off to Pitts. And that would have been a fantastic reception had it not been called back. Matt Collins has kind of become the Muhammad Sanu. And we were talking about that in you know, the early part of the season. What is Matt Collins going to end up becoming? And he's become a chain mover, um, kind of the reliable old hands that can pick up the ball and be able to do it. The concepts that the Falcons were able to put onto the field um, – give the idea that Desmond Ritter will either scramble for the five yards, uh, kind of like an Aaron Rodgers-esque kind of deal, uh, Joe Burrow-esque kind of deal, 
or there will be something over the middle. And the Panthers did a fantastic job of making sure that the play action did not sell them short. Um, they kept the field clean. And uh, the little passes are what the Falcons are going to do. They're going to dink and dunk you and end up going long on big plays. Like plays like this one right here where you dump off to uh, a Bijan Robinson, but you've already done this play before. So you have to have really good execution and really good blocking to make it work. Um, Bijan Robinson trying to block a linebacker looked like Devontae Freeman in the Super Bowl trying to make that block. And there it is right there again. Um, I don't want to do that. I saw um, um, uh, Michael Pruitt. Um, I saw Bijan. Uh, I saw Janu all coming in on these like play action, like uh, tight end blocks. And it just was not working. Again, if you can short, if you can short sting a defense and gain 10 yards every pass or five yards every pass, you're basically making it into a smaller run. Again, McGarry is garbage. I mean, if you look at this play on the left-hand side of the screen, I i mean, it's too wide of a stance, or he doesn't attack his guy, and Desmond Ritter doesn't have any freaking time to throw. It's its its bad. It's bad. I'm sorry. It's bad. Um, I'll have another breakdown on this play, too, because this is actually well uh, well put. The, the, the routes are great. The routes are absolutely fantastic. I, I watch the routes, and... Uh, the opportunities are there. Um, Tyler Algier needs to run through contact up the middle of the field. And you actually see Arthur Smith on the right-hand side of the field just kneel down in disappointment. Because look at that hole right there. He gets the first down. There's Arthur Smith up at the top. Oh, I can't believe you did that. Another uh, pass to Pitts. Pitts out in the space. You see actually a lot of Pitts out in the space. And they're able to get it to him real quick. And he can create. That's probably where Kyle Pitts is going to hurt you early in the game, and then you get him down the middle of the field later in the game. Uh, another blown assignment here. Just execution poor, but they were able to create something with Tyler Algier on a dump off. And again, make linebackers and defensive linemen choose. Is Desmond Ritter going to take the 5 to 10 yards on the little on the little scramble play? He's not burning anybody down the field. Um, again, you do great coverage down the field with only two routes going down there, Kyle Pitts and I believe it was Drake London, and, and you'll have to dump it off here. And when you when you show that play multiple times, it, the execution has to be there. If it's not, it's going to create problems. And they ran this play multiple times. I mean, even with Bijan fumbling on this play um, and McGarry picking it up, this is the type of offense that they're willing um, – to put down. In fact, actually, that that was the wrong play calling there. But again, they're just trying to find open space on the edge. Small throws can turn into yak, and that's what this team is predicated on. Yak, running the ball, getting the ball into the hands of their playmakers, which just so happen to be running backs. Uh, this is a fantastic touch and throw. Only where a guy like Kyle Pitts can get this. And just really good protection late in the game. I mean, you look at this, and this is where you want to see more and more from the game. But they they had to take time to figure that out. Defensive pass interference, so they easily got. They would have gotten the call there, or they would have gotten the catch, and that's exactly what happened. So overall, I look at all the plays, and of course, please make sure you go and rewind this video, and take a look, and we're gonna actually take a lot of these plays and do individual videos, slow down. We're a traditional Falcons film breakdown and take a look at some of this stuff. But tell me what you think of Desmond Ritter and these Atlanta Falcons after this win against the Carolina Panthers. Um, and, man, I, there's a lot to show from this, so I'll, I'll see you guys again soon. Rise up, stay grounded.